Hi everybody, how are you? Um, because we are locked out of our favorite studios and gyms, a couple of people have asked me to make a yoga video, which you are inundated on Facebook and all kinds of social media with your favorite teachers, which I think is fantastic. So here's just a little sequence if you want to play around with it, add it to your collection. Being that we're going to be um, in self-quarantine for a while, you might need a bit of a variety. So um, have fun, play around, and namaste. Start in a downward facing dog. Find some movement here that feels good for your body. Pedal out the legs. Sway the hips. And then find your stillness, find your shape. Lift your heels, put a soft bend in your knees. Press your chest back toward your thighs, drop your head in between your arms, give a little shake. Straighten the legs and allow the heels to reach for the floor. Lift your heels high, take your gaze forward, roll out to a plank pose. Bring your knees down, child's pose. And find your breath here, maybe tent up onto your fingertips. Play your hips, roll your head. Walk your fingertips out to a T, roll your right shoulder forward in front of the knee and turn your gaze over towards your left shoulder. Release the right side and change to the left. Come back through center, downward facing dog. Lift your right leg. Bend your knee, open your hip. Roll the ankle, circle the knee. Down dog, split, and then keep your hip open, drawing your right knee around towards your right shoulder. Draw the navel into the spine, bring your right thigh into your chest. Press the floor away from you, get as broad as you can through that upper body. Cross the shoulder blades. Float your right foot back to meet your left, lower everything down to the the breath out. Breath in, Bhujangasana, low cobra. Lengthen the neck, give a little shake here to help. Exhale, lower down. Use your knees, push back child's pose. Push up onto your hands and knees, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. Lift your left leg. Bend the knee, open the hip. Find that movement here. You can keep your left shoulder down even with your right. I'm lifting mine so I can speak to you. <laughs> Lengthen the leg for a down dog split. Keep the hip open. Pull your left knee around towards your left shoulder. Start to draw the navel to the spine. Get nice and hollow, broad across the shoulder blades. Pull your right thigh into your chest. Really push the floor away. Float your left foot back to meet your right. Lower everything down. Cobra pose on the breath in. Breath out, lower down, tuck your toes. Draw the elbows in towards the ribs, engage through the quads. Put your belly button into your spine and drop the head. Take a breath in. Breath out, maybe you into plank pose. Downward facing dog. Lift your heels and start to walk your feet forward to meet your hands. You'll come to a forward fold at the top of your mat, Uttanasana. Climb your hands up to your shin and come halfway up as you lengthen. Sweep the arms forward to frame the ears and interlace your fingers. Draw your knuckles forward and your hips back. On the breath in, rise all the way up, press into the feet. Draw the arms back to a cactus shape, puff your chest up towards the ceiling. And find a bit of a back bend here. Inhale the arms up overhead, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, forward, fold, Uttanasana. Come halfway up to lengthen on the breath out. Step back, downward facing dog. Inhale, plank pose. Lower down, Chakaranga Dandasana, or knees, chest, chin. Upward facing dog or cobra. And then hold here. Find a little movement. You can sway the hips and shoulders. Draw the shoulders back away from the ears, press into the tops of the feet. Your belly button into your spine. And then stand on the tops of the feet. Engage through the core. Start to lift your hips. Get broad and round across the upper back. Keep lifting. 
Drop your head in between your arms and look at your feet. Keep lifting your hips. And then when you need to roll over the toes, you will. Bring your feet together. Take your knees wide, press it back for a frog squat. Like Malasana meets downward facing dog. And then shift your weight forward into plank. And then pull it back. And then shift forward, pull it back. One more time, shift forward, pull it back. Downward facing dog, straighten your legs. Lift your heels, bend your knees, take your gaze forward, step or float in the leg. Breath in, lengthen. Breath out, fold it. Urdhva Hastasana, rise up. Chair pose, Uttkatasana. Give your prayer at your heart. And then turn your pinkies to face in. You're looking right at your palms. Lengthen the arms, reach the fingertips up towards the ceiling. Now separate the hands and draw the arms back past the ears. Keep lengthening the spine, lift your chest. There's that natural arch in the back. Interlace your fingers right at the base of the skull. Give that a little length to the neck. As you breathe in, straighten the legs, take the elbows wide, and slid this back. Release the arms. Inhale, come back through something. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen, breathe in. Your breath out takes you back to your breath. And yes, Lift your right leg. Pull your right thigh into your chest as you shift forward to plank. Throw the belly button into the spine and really push the floor away from you. Hug the thigh up and in. Get as broad as you can across the shoulder blades. Cross your right ankle over your left thigh. Come to a figure four, downward facing dog. Then flex the foot. Draw the right knee back to release through the hip. Drop your head in between your arms. Get a little bit of a shake. Shift forward into plank, step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Take your thigh and your hand to connect and draw back, project the chest forward, lay back, find a little bit of a back bend. You can even take your arm back and lay back, find more of a twist. Reach your arm over your head, bring your right hand down, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. You'll be in Malasana and then move that around a little bit. Heels and toes can move, hips. Make sure the feet are wide enough that you can be flat on the feet. And then bring the forearms down to the floor. Drop your head. Take the elbows and the triceps back into the calves and the thighs. And find some space. And we'll come to a Hakini Mudra. Let your fingertips meet their matches. So press your right hand into your left, your left hand into your right. Lengthen the spine with the neck be long. On the exhale, bring your hands down. Turn your toes to face your wrists. You're going to very wide like a forward fold. Dip your head down towards the floor. See what that feels like. Lengthen the spine. Come halfway up. Soften the knees. Climb your hands up to your thighs. And come to your cat cow. And then anything you want to add to this. Roll the shoulders. See how it feels as you move. When you're back in that cat pose, slide the hands back down to the floor, step back down facing dog. Lift your heels, take your gaze forward, come through plank. On the breath out, lower everything down to the floor. Breath in, Bhujangasana Lokopa. Breath out, lower down. Use your knees, push back child's pose. And push back onto your hands and knees, tuck your toes down facing dog. Lift your left leg. Bend your knee, open your hip. Tent up onto your left fingertips. Just find that twist, that back bend. Keep lifting your knee up towards the ceiling. And then wrap your foot around like it's going to touch the back of your head. Then look over your right shoulder. Try to see your foot. Downward facing dog with that straight left leg. Pull your thigh into your chest. Shift it forward into plank, get broad. Figure four, cross your left ankle over your right thigh. Take it back to a dog. Press into your fingertips. You want all the weight to settle at the base of the palm so those wrists feel uncomfortable. So use your fingertips, get a good grip, 10 little suction cups. 
Come back through plank, step your left foot to the outside of your left hand. Left hand comes to the inner thigh. Lengthen. Make sure there's space between your right shoulder and your right ear. You can lay that back. Maybe release the arm, a little bit more chest opening. Reach your arm overhead. Watch the furniture. Step your right foot to the outside of your right hand. Forward fold. Let's find a sway here. Maybe you grab the elbows, let your head go. Soften the knees, plant your hands up to your thighs, and come back to that cat cow. Maybe there's a little bit more room to play with. Maybe you pause in one shape, and then transition to the next. Take your forward fold, bring your hands down to the floor, step back down, facing dog. Lift your heels, breathe in, come to plank pose. Lower down knees, chest, and chin. Bhujangasana Kumbha. Lower everything down, tuck your toes. Make your way to plank, down facing dog. Bring your feet together. And pull your hips back towards your heels, like a frog squat. It's like Malasana meets down dog. Keep pressing through your fingertips, take your gaze forward. And then use the strength of the legs and the momentum and shift forward to a plank. Take your hips back, knees wide, shift forward. One more time. Hold here, lower down, Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog. And find a little bit of movement here. Maybe you shift from wrist to wrist, trimming the shoulders and the hips. Spine. Start to make your way up to plank, but stay on the tops of your feet. Navel to spine, get broad across the shoulders. Tuck your chin to your chest and look at your toes. Keep lifting your hips. Take it all the way back to a down dog. You might feel the arches of the feet, you might feel the ankles. And then step over the toes. Lift your heels. Press up onto your fingertips. Use your core strength to lift the hips. And start to walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Take your gaze in between your hands. Keep lifting your hips with every step. And then once you're in Uttanasana, hold it there. Get a little lighter on the fingertips. Wing the arms back and come to Diver. You lift the chest a little bit. Watch your gaze, it starts to rise. Drop your heels, Utkatasana Chira. Inhale, straighten the legs, draw the arms back to a cactus, and we'll find a bit of a back bend here. You can interlace your fingers right at the base of the skull. Get a little length to the neck, gentle pull. Take the elbows wide, keep puffing your chest up towards the ceiling, the pelvis tip forward. Lay it back. Release the arms. Inhale, high prayer. Some Samastiti, prayer to your heart. How are we doing so far? Inhale, the arms up overhead. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Length and coming halfway up. Breath out, step or float back. Your Vinyasa. Lift your right leg. Step forward in between your hands. Lift your right arm up as you breathe in. Twist your lunge. Right hand down. Step your left foot forward to meet your right. Look up. Breathe in. Full fold. Breathe out. Big bend in your knees. Let your arms hang and your head hang heavy. Find the sway. Keep it light and soft and roll all the way. Shoulder roll once you get there. Tadasana. Spread your strength, bring your kneecaps up, spread your fingers wide, stand your ground, and come back to your breath. Inhale, high prayer. Exhale, forward fold. Lengthen. Take it back. Lift your left leg. Step forward in between your hands. Float your left arm up for your twist. 
Left hand down, right foot needs to lift, look up, breathe in. Full fold through that. Bend your knees, slow roll to the top. High prayer on the breath in. Breath out, fold it forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, step or slow down. It's interesting doing this in an apartment. Downward facing down. Bring your feet together. We'll come to that frog squat. Knees go wide. Pull your hips to your heels. Keep your gaze forward. You want to see where you're going. Shift forward to your plank. Take it back. So you're playing with momentum. And then maybe you add a little hop. Getting your hips over your shoulders. Your feet are wide. Bring your feet together. Lengthen on the breath in. Fold on the breath out. Press into the feet, sweep the arms up overhead, or the head starts in. And let's take this to chair. Lift your left knee into your chest. Grab hold of your left knee with your left hand. We'll come to Yana Mudra with the right hand. Start to open the hip, bring your knee out to the left side as the right arm travels over to the right. Now turn your gaze to your right hand. Come back through center, find a figure four, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, bring the arms back. Floating tree, lift your left knee up to the left side, come to the twisted Shiva. Just step that back, your left hand will come down to the floor, step your left foot back, twist your lunge with your right arm up. Sweep it through and come on up to warrior two. And then adjust if you need to adjust the feet. Make sure you're still in frame of camera. And here we are. Flip your right palm, peaceful warrior on the breath in. Extend it side angle, tip it forward. Fingertips can come down to the floor. The forearm can rest on the thigh. And then use the strength of that right arm to lift up. Make sure you have space in the right side body. You can find a twist and it's comfortable and you can still breathe. Left arm is active, you're reaching up and over the left ear. Reach your left fingertips up towards the ceiling and come into triangle pose, trikonasana. Right hand can rest on the shin. And again, find the length, lay it back. Draw your right kneecap up. Sweep your left arm overhead and come to a wide-legged forward fold, Vasarata. Parallel the toes, as if you're in a downward-facing dog, walk your fingertips forward. Pull your hips back and drop your head in between your arms. Kind of let that go. Begin to shift the weight in your heels and flex your toes up. Walk your fingertips until they're underneath your shoulders. Keep your toes flat so you're balancing on your heels. Then lengthen the spine. Get really light in the hands. Maybe just the fingertips. Two fingers. Maybe just one. And then walk your way towards the front of your mat. Step your right foot back. Your vinyasa. Breathe here. Give the head a shake. Check in, see what's what. Bring your feet together. Come to that frog squat, hips to heels, knees go wide, gaze is forward, shift forward to plank. Come and do that a couple of times. If you're ready to add that little jump, you'll do that. Breath in, breath out, fold. Urdhva Hastasana on the way up. Chair pose. Utkatasana. Lift your right knee into your chest. Grab hold of your knee with your right hand. Yana Mudra on the left hand. And then start to open it in opposite directions. So find the stability in that standing leg. Perfect. Come back through center. Figure four, cross your right ankle over your left thigh, bring the arms back. 
Flex your foot and bring your right knee back. See if you can bring your chest forward past your calf. Maybe you can rest it there. Let your neck be long. On the breath in, float your tree, lift your right knee up to the right side, and then step it into that Shiva pose. A little curtsy, get low. Bring your right hand down, step your right foot back, and twist your lunge. And then spin it around for warrior two. Breath in for peace. Tip it into extended side angle. Send your right fingertips up towards the ceiling. Begin to lengthen through the left leg so there's a shift in the hips. Pull them back. Take your left hand to your shin. Find a little extra space, length to open up the chest. Sweep your right arm across your face. Come through wide-legged forward fold. So I'm going to turn around, otherwise I'm upside down. Actually, I'll stay here. <laughs> then bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Take your feet a little wider. Come to the crown of the head. And then maybe you lift your hips. I know you love your arm balances, you're in your inversion, so you come to a headstand. I have a good view of my dog, and he's just watching the whole thing. Cool. Begin to let yourself come out of it. Take any variation you like. Maybe you play around. Toes can touch the floor. Tent up onto the fingertips. Lengthen the spine, you're just upside down. Flex your toes up. And then walk your way towards the front of your mat. Frame your left foot, step it back. Your vinyasa. Breathe here. This is where I usually walk around the room. <laughs> So bring your feet together, knees go wide, play with that yogi squat in your down dog, Malasana meets Anamukha Svanasana, then pull it back, bring it forward, and if you don't like to go upside down, you don't want your feet to leave the floor, they don't have to, just feel the shift from the legs to the arms, from the feet and the hands all the way to the fingertips, so there's no fear when you're coming forward, then maybe hop it up. And come in for a landing. Chair pose. Lift your left knee. Grab hold of your knee. Yana Mudra on the right hand. Take it out to the other side. You've been here before, so maybe you connect the moves. This time, grab hold of your left big toe. And open it up for a Tita Hasta Parimustasana B. Figure four, cross your left ankle over your right thigh, bring the arms back. Keep lifting your chest and engage through your left foot with a flex so that you can lift your right, I can't turn my head, so that you can lift your right heel up off the floor. And then take it back, floating tree. Shiva pose, get nice and low. Step back, twist your lunge. Warrior two, right into peace. Extend it side angle. Maybe there's a little bit more space to get deeper here. Maybe you add that half bind. You can lay it back. If you want the full bind, there's a variation. You can take your right hand behind you, interlace your fingers right at the hamstring, so it's your thigh, and then lay it back from there. If you're in the bind, you might want to keep it. Shift into trikonasana. Make sure there's space. You can breathe. 
Release the arms. Sweep it through prasarja. We're coming all the way towards the back of the mat this time. So walk it through and you'll find your twisted lunge. Bring your hand down. Shift your back foot and come on up to warrior one. Practice the arms, pop the chest up towards the ceiling, and we'll take a bind. Interlace your fingers, and instead of letting your hands rest on your leg or on your butt, draw the shoulder blades towards each other. Find some space here. So you're lifting up a bit. You're going to puff your chest up towards the ceiling. Find the back bend. Straight your left leg, returning back towards the front of the mat for devotional warrior. Shift as far forward as you can. Come to the inside of that right leg. Come and drop the head. The arms will travel up. Reaching forward. And lift your chest halfway. Keep the arms engaged. Keep drawing back with the knuckles. Float your left heel up and come all the way up to warrior three. I'm just gonna step back a little bit so I'm gonna crash into my closet. <laughs> Nothing like the studio. And it's a slow shift. Your left leg floats. Keep your right knee bent, we'll take a variation. I'm gonna curl your left hamstring. Reach for the ankle. We're coming into a number of asana variation, a little dancer pose with a double grip. Kick your foot into your hand, start to take your gaze a little higher. Open the chest, draw the shoulders back, and then eventually you'll straighten your right leg. Step your left foot to meet your right, chair pose to Tatasana. Breath in, lift the arms up. Breath out, bring your prayer to your heart and take a twist over to your right side. Maybe tee the arms. And then release your twist. Step back if you need to. Let your knees find your armpits and shift into Vakasana, your crow pose. And then any variation you want to take from here. If you want to come into your headstand, take a one legged. Whatever makes you happy. Maybe just hold it here. Find the stillness. And when you're ready, vinyasa. Hold your down dog and breathe. And come into a child's pose. Whole other ball game, doing the class and talking at the same time. <laughs> and trying not to crash into the ball. Okay, so you are here. Take your hands back behind you and interlace your fingers. Draw your knuckles back. We'll find some space between the shoulders and the ears. Just drop your head. Maybe you rock your head from side to side like a bell, with your ears coming towards your shoulders. And then release. When you're ready, down facing dog. Bring the feet together. Lift your heels, knees go wide, pull your hips to heels, shift back, and then come forward, plank. When you're ready, you'll add that little hop. Maybe you'll hold the balance. Chair pose. Let your right knee grab hold of it with your right hand, the Mudra with your left hand. Open the knee out to the right side. Take your gaze over to the left. Grab hold of your right big toe. Take your form when you're ready. Wing the arm 
you spend. Keep the right foot active. Float your left heel up off the floor. Notice your gaze. Find something to stare at so you can keep your balance. Heel comes down. Floating tree on the breath in. Shiva on the breath out. Bring your right hand down. Step your right foot back. Twist your left. And then spiral up warrior two. Right into peace. Extended side angle. Grab your right arm. Maybe come to the inner thigh of that left leg. And take your left arm behind you. Let it do that for you. Interlace your fingers. Lay it back. Lengthen through the left leg, shift the hips, triangle pose. Take your time. Continue to lay back. And then release the arms with control. Come to Prasarms, a wide legged forward fold. Move right through to the back end of your mat, twist your lunge. Breath in. Breath out, frame your right foot. Spin your back heel, come on up to Warrior One. Cactus nose. Find the interlace with the opposite thumb on top. Lengthen. Pull your arms away from your back. Draw your shoulder blades towards each other. Keep lifting the chest. Find the back bend. Straighten your right leg. Turn towards the front of your mat. Devotional warrior. Come as far forward as you can for as long as you can. Plugged into the outer edge of the right foot. Come to the inside of the left knee and drop the head. Look for your right foot. Maybe the crown of the head comes down to your ankle, to your foot, or to the floor. Use the arms to help lift the chest. Press out your left leg. Lift your chest halfway. Float your right heel. And then you'll come into warrior three. from the left knee. Stay with the breath. Bend your right leg, wrap hold of the ankle. And set up for dancer. Take your foot into your hand. And notice your drishti rising. Take your time. Chair pose, Utkatasana. And on the breath out, we'll twist over to the left side. Release your twist. Plant your hands. And I just happen to have this block here. If you want to play with curl, the prop. If you're just starting out with curl, come to Malasana. The block will come underneath your hips. And then keep it slightly forward so your butt is on the back edge. You're not going to sit on it, as tempting as it might be. Bring your hands in front of you. Turn your toes so that they face the wrists. Knees find the armpits and lift your hips. So you're engaging through the core so your legs aren't heavy on the backs of the arms. Step your right foot on the block. Bring your left heel up toward your butt. Lift your chest, lift your gaze. Navel to spine. And then take it back. Hi, making a video. <laughs> Come on in, I'll, I'll cut it. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> then the dog's gonna walk by, it's all good. This is real life. <sighs> what is this, quarantine? Yes. Okay, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Spread the fingers wide. Turn your toes just enough so they face the wrist, and those knees fit right into the armpit. It's like ball and socket. Beautiful thing. And there's the other one. Keep going. Lift the heels. Step your left foot on the block. Hollow up. 
Press into your fingertips and lift your right heel. Now, if you curl all the time and you just want to do something a little more fun, take your feet around the edges of the block and then lift the block up. And then you can play with it. You can dip it down towards the floor, lift it up, all that fun stuff. And then bring the block down, come back into Malasana. Walk your right fingertips wide, sweep the left arm up, pull up from the chest, and feel nice after that compression. Release through the shoulders. You want to take the half bind, wrap it around your back. Take the full bind, wrap it around your right shin. And then see if you can walk your right fingertips to your wrist. Lift the chest. And then this. Pray to your heart. We'll come to neutral. Take a breath here. And then switch to the other side. Tent up onto your left fingertips. Sweep your right arm up. Half bind. Full bind. Grab hold of your right wrist. Bring your forearms down, drop your head down. Let it be soft, give your head a shake. And then make your way back to the downward facing dog if you want to take a vinyasa. You're going to play with that arm balance from here. Just make sure you have a little bit of room. Do a little hop. Maybe you come all the way up. <laughs> Try to be as quiet as I can. Your vinyasa. Okay, we'll bring that down to the floor. Bring the soles of the feet together and we'll come to Baddha Konasana. Now here you can play with the location of the hips. So tent up onto your fingertips behind you. You can lift the hips up off the floor and if it's okay for your knees, just add a little bit of a momentum here. Bring the groins a little closer to the heels. And then you can sit yourself down. Use the arms. Press into the fingertips, lengthen the spine, lift your chest, let your knees pull down towards the floor. And start to lean forward. Maybe you bring your fingertips forward. Maybe you bring your forearms down. Maybe you make a little pillow for your head. Maybe you drop it. So breathe into it, allowing the hips to soften. Have a little bit more mobility there for what we're about to do. Grab holds of the outer edges of your feet. We'll have a little balance here and we'll float our body can also. Wrap your left arm around the outer edges of your feet so they fit nicely into the curve of your arm. And then do the same thing with the right side. So you can grab your elbows here. I'm taking the knees wider and pull the arches of your feet in towards your sternum. And then here, just hanging out, breathing. Grab the two big toes and find the balance, release it. Bring your feet together. Navasana, boat pose. Give yourself a moment here to drop your shoulders down, lengthen through the hamstrings, flex out through your heels. And when you're ready, release the arms up. Don't bring any extra tension into your shoulders. Just float the arms down. So we just kind of hover and then breathe in, that's it. And breathe in, float these arms. Breathe in, lift up. Bring your hands and your feet down to the floor for a reverse tabletop. Breathe in, the pelvis up, draw the shoulders back, puff your chest up, and on the breath out, drop your head. And come back to a seat. Extend your left leg out in front of you. Bring your four crossing your right ankle over your left thigh. On the breath in, lengthen. On the breath out, forward fold. Now if this is uncomfortable for your knee, you can place a block here for support. Or you can come to a Janu Shashasana in the leg and come this way. So the sole of the foot is to the inside of the thigh. Whatever feels better for you. I'm gonna take it down. your chin to your chest and roll it up, press into your fingertips, pull your left thigh into your chest, 
The right foot is going to stay active, so keep it flexed. We want to protect that knee. Use the strength of the arms to project the chest forward. Maybe you walk your left heel back or your hips a little forward towards the heels. And press that right knee forward. So your butt is still on the floor. It's tempting to float, so bring it down. Nice. I'm gonna press into your left hand. Take your right arm up and allow to twist. So you can get the foot towards your right shoulder. So we're actually coming foot into armpit. So this is what it looks like on this side. right tricep. You can bring the right thigh down to the floor. Maybe grab hold of your right shin or your right knee with your hand. And here you are. So you're sitting up tall, Yana Mudra. Or, this is where we're going with this. Keep your foot to your tricep. So if that starts to slide down a little bit, you want to try to get it up here as much as you can. So then when you bend your arm back, it's secure and locked. Right knee armpit or up to the outside of the shoulder. If your foot is here and you happen to straighten your arm, it's going to slide right off. So give yourself a couple of tries to get a decently good grip, which is going to add a little trick to that. So you've already come into crow. So it's kind of like pigeon meets crow and binds. <laughs> All right, so here we are in our figure four. Bring your hands down to the floor. Come onto the ball of the foot. Now you'll find a little bit of balance here. Or you can walk your foot forward to the inside of your right hand. You'll come to the outside, wrap around your right arm, and lower down to chaturanga. And there you are. So while you're quarantined, you can play with that for a while. But let's just do the other side so we're not crooked. You can stretch it out. Give the legs a little shake. Inhale the arms up overhead. Cactus the arms, kind of a little bit of a back bend here. Release the shoulders, tent up onto your fingertips. Bring your left knee into your chest and come to that figure four. So we got lock, Janushashasana instead. Breath in, breath out, forward fold. When you're ready, lift the chest. Bend your right knee, use the arms, bring your chest forward, bring your hips forward. Let that left knee continue to open up so you're not pulling it back this way, finding the space in the hips. And see what feels comfortable. Just hold here. Nice long spine. And then we'll add the twist. Press into your right hand, lift your left arm up. Aim your sole of your foot towards your left armpit, your left tricep, your left shoulder. Draw the left arm back. Bring the thigh down to the floor. It's my bad side. And then float your right arm in the animal jaw. And don't wear cream on your arms before you do this pose, because it's slippery. And then if you want to try it on the other side, you'll take that foot to the armpit. We'll give it a go. See if I slide. You can also come into it this way. So if you like to do grasshopper, it's um, pretty much the same setup. So you're here and then you go for the twist. And we'll bring that down onto your back. A nice long stretch, lengthen the legs, reach out, fingertips. Pull your knees into your chest. Find a little movement here, you can rock it side to side. Reach down for your ankles and plant your feet. 
Now you have options here. Come into your bridge pose, come into full wheel. If you're coming into bridge, see if you can hang on to your ankles. As you lift up, get the shoulders underneath you, get the triceps underneath you, and really press into the feet. Make sure the toes and the knees are pointing straight ahead. You are here. And then maybe transition to wheel just by framing your ears. And then finish it. Any variation you want to take there? You want to come to a figure four while you're in your wheel. You can do that on both sides. If you like to lift one leg up in the air, you can do that in your wheel. Then allow yourself to come down. Walk your feet to the outer edges of the mat. Let your knees fall in towards each other. Stick your right hand over your heart, your left hand over your abdomen. You want to sway the knees from side to side. And come back to that stillness. And then set yourself up for one more. So whether it's your wheel, whether it's your bridge, if you have a block, I lost mine, <laughs> you can place that here. You can place it underneath the sacrum. Make it a little bit more restorative. Now just be aware of the placement. It's not quite at your butt, and it's not in that lumbar spine area where you really want to be uncomfortable with a march back. So play around with it until it feels supported. And maybe you extend the legs out. You can go as wide as your mat. And here. If you're in your wheel and you're playing with your variations, do that. And allow yourself to come down. If you have the block, lift the hips first, take the block out of the way. Again, walk the feet to the outer edges of the mat. Knees will fall in towards each other. This time, take your arms overhead and cactus shape. Just breathe here. Feel like swaying your knees from side to side of the wheel. And then the next time your knees fall over to the right side, you hold it there. You can support the knee by placing it on a block. Or you can come back to that figure four, cross your right ankle over your left thigh. So if this is enough for you, this is where you hang out. Maybe you reach down and come into half hero, pulling your left foot up towards your hip. And you can take your right foot to Ardha Padmasana, into your half lotus, or whatever works for you. And then take the arms up overhead. And bring the arms forward, release the legs, come back to that figure four, crossing your right ankle over your left thigh, or your left thigh into your chest. You have a reclined pigeon here. Use the strength of your right arm to press it forward your thigh, so that knee is traveling away from you as the left thigh comes in towards your chest and press your right foot. You want to lift your head, your shoulders, bring your nose to your knee, just be aware of your toes, you don't kick yourself in the head. You put your toe right in your ear, and then release. That's a nice long stretch. Now take those feet wide. Way. We're changing, we're traveling over to the left side. So figure four is where you cross the ankle. Just make sure you're not on the knee joint. You're more towards the thigh, that right quad. Then hang out here, reach down for your right foot. Draw the heel into your hip, coming into a half hero. Come to your half lotus. Option to lift the head. 
Bring your hands to your knee, your knee to your nose, your tongue, your ear. wide, take the legs wide. Now we'll rock for an eagle wrap. Get all that hip opener. All those hip openers and now we'll close it all down. So rock here along the sacrum. And drop your knees to one side. Doesn't matter which one, don't overthink it. We'll do both. Keeping your right leg bound. Just come back through center. Take your time. And lower down to the other side. So you might want to hold center for a breath or two. I don't want to keep you here that much longer. I'll fall asleep on my dining room floor. Come back through center. Big unravel with the legs. Let's go wide with a straddle, whether you grab your big toes or your calves. See if you can draw those feet down towards the floor. Maybe the toes will touch. And then again, the option to lift the head, lift the shoulders. Keep your whole spine down, so try not to let your butt lift up off the floor. And pull your knees into your chest. Straddle the legs. Eagle wrap left over right. So we're just changing sides. side you want to drop down first. We'll do both. Bring yourself back to center. Pause. And then come down to the other side. See if any knees can travel a little higher up towards your arm. There you go. You can take your gaze to the other side if you like. That feels better on your neck. Your practice is yours, so move in a way that feels good for you. You make your own modifications, make your own shapes. Everybody's different. And come back through center. Big unravel. A little wide one more time. Maybe grab the heels. Lift it if you want. And from here, come into happy baby. Grabbing the outer edges of the feet. Find a little movement. And then hold it. Find the stillness in the breath. You are ready for Shavasana. So find your most comfortable shape. You don't need to watch me lay on the floor. So once you're there, Settle in, take a nice big breath in through your nose, open your mouth, let it all go. Shavasana as long as you like. Thank you so much for allowing me to make this video. Hopefully it, it helped in some way, getting us through this crazy time, trying to keep some sort of normalcy in the chaos. So um, feedback, anything that you want, any requests, any poses, any sequencing, um, any shape that you're working on, things that um, 